Take one to 298. 298, go ahead. This is going to be our runner from last night. He's got tattoos on his face. From New Bremen. Pull right up here. This is going to be another unit. Black stocking cap, white hat. Check that black stocking cap, white shirt, black pants, white tennis shoes. This guy's in stock. We're going up to the ramp right now. He's got glasses on. Seventeen oh six, been around. Seventeen oh six, okay. Thirty nine. Right there. Stop. Well, what's the 39? South 100. How's it going, man? Good. Good. Yeah, Do me a favor. Put your hands out of your pockets. Put your hands out of your pockets. Put your hands right there on the hood for me. You know you can't have a bicycle on the road? No. You can't be out here on the highway. We broke down up there, so Where, I'm just trying to get you Where'd you, you break here. down at? I don't know. Put your hands on the car. Spread your legs for me. Bring your hands back for me. Bring your hands back. Right. Didn't say you're under arrest. I'm just making sure you ain't got weapons on you. All right. What's your name, sir? December. Huh? December. Okay. Put your hands together like a palm in the back. Put them together like a palm and palm them like you're clapping. Like this. Okay. Bring me your other hand. Let your, let your hands go. Let your hands go. I'll explain what's going on here in just a second, all right? I just don't want you to move for right now, okay? You got anything on you that's going to hurt me today? Okay, I'm going to check your hat, all right? Where'd you get that bike from? Hold on a second. What's in your pocket right here? Is that a lighter? Yes. All right. We we'll pull that out. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna read your rights. It doesn't mean you're under arrest. It doesn't mean you're going to jail. It just means we're gonna talk a little bit, okay? Okay. Says so you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be just against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be appointed to represent you for any questioning if you wish. You can decide any time to exercise those rights and not answer any questions. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. Do you have an ID on you today? No, I don't. What's that? No, I don't. You don't? You got anything in your shoes? No. Turn around and put your butt right there where it says State Trooper. I'm going to have you kick your shoes off for me, all right? And then we'll put them right back on. Let me see your foot. Put that back on. Can you slide it back on or not? Alright. 298 pickle, I check okay. You got 76 contained at this time. Kick that shoe off. Shelby County has units in around. Are they on the with the other? Right they are. Stand right there for me, alright? All right, here's the story, man. All right, your name William. Be straight with me. Yes. All right. Did you run for one of my officers last night? Be straight with me. Yes. Over in New Bremen. Yes. Okay. That's why we're standing here right now. Okay. That and you can't ride your bicycle that you probably stole on the highway. All right. This is a guy who ran from New Bremen PD last night. Yeah. He was riding his bicycle up the highway here. <laughs> all right, so here's what we're gonna do, all right? Okay. Just, you guys hang out with him for just a second. I got my honor guard stuff in the back. I gotta get my seat cleaned up, but we're gonna hang out right there.
Hey, William. Where'd you steal that bike from, man? I found it. You, come on, man. Let me get us walking down the highway. No, it was on one of the streets. On one of the streets, okay. Because I started walking, and then I found it, and then that's when I started riding. Okay. We're just trying to get back to the first order. Huh? That's what I'm saying. It was just on the side. I don't know who it belonged to or whatnot. It wasn't like it was in the yard or anything. Laying like in the ditch on the side of the road? No, it was laying like by, it was like by a pole. In here? No, this was... The green or? It was in between. No, because... Is that after you leave? Where, where did well, they go? It means a small little town? Yeah. On 274? Yeah. No. All right. So you can't get these back on your feet? Put that foot up for me. Bring it up here. I've been looking for me all night. Well, I quit looking for you after my helicopter went home. I quit looking for you. But then I'm coming back home from something else. And I see you riding your bicycle down the highway. That's a little weird. So that's why we had a discussion. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Come on back here. We'll have you, let you have a seat for a minute. Have a seat. 298 pickle. Okay, 298. This will be signal six. You admit it to learn from New Bremen last night. Bring it for her to copy. I copied it. It's going to be signal six for your further. Signal 6 and mid-digit one from the new bring the DB last night. Alright, don't mess with none of that stuff, alright?
What's your last name, William? Barrow. B A R R O W. B A R R O W. Yeah. You talk to your husband? No. No, you haven't talked to him. You don't have a phone, do you? No. Okay. All right. Your, we let your husband go last night. Okay. So he's probably back in Columbus. Okay. All right. Yes. Is there any way you can fix my glasses that are falling off? Yep, lean up here. There you go. Thank you. I got your lighter here. Remind me I got it, okay? All right. What's your date of birth? 10389. Huh? 10389. 298. Okay. 
they say what my warrants was? I'll find out here in a minute. What's, uh, let's see, you got an Ohio driver's license or anything? No. Let's do this. Where, where do you have it licensed out of or information out of? Colorado? Colorado, yeah. Yeah, it's what's your, back 35. What's your first name? William. William. Spell your middle name? G O D D R E L L. G O D D R E L L. And last name is. Spell your last name. B A R R O W. W. And it's 10. 389. Now, I'm going to see what's going on. This is the 298. The jail is checking if he's having any issues. No issues. You're not hurt or anything like that, correct? Just, yeah, a cup on my hand. Just a cut on your hand? Yeah, well, my knuckles and, yeah, but it's nothing major. No, like, hospital or nothing like that. He's got a scrape on his hand. Nothing hospital. He doesn't say. It's not, it is not bleeding, it's not bleeding or anything. It's like assault, second degree burglary. Um, this is what it looks like to me. Might be another one there. Let's see what that one is. Caution. 11815. Looks like that might be the same warrant. Okay. I'm 45. I'm going to head back north. 1706. It's standing by with that. Um, evidence. That's what it sounds like it's for, okay? What is it? Sounds like you have a burglary and an assault. I got out of prison for that. Okay. That's what they're telling me, okay? Um. That's all I can go by at this time, all right? Um, but then the uh, local agency down here is going to have charges on you as well for running from them last night, okay? So what is that? I don't know. Whatever they charge you with, I don't know what they'll charge you with. So, you were so the only way you called me is because I was riding that damn bike? Yeah, on the highway. You can't ride bicycle on the highway. Can you walk on the highway? We're working on that. So you would have pulled me over still? Yeah, if you'd have been walking out there, I'd have still stopped you because once you're out there on that four lane, you can't be out there, so unless you're in a car. Is there any way, like, I need a huge favor. Uh, is there any way that you could get my husband's number? Your husband's number? We can find out for you. If you could see if they can get New Bremen to bring their citation for his husband, Brick. He's going to need the public service for his husband. He doesn't have any type of public service on him. So what, they're coming to pick me up? Mm -hmm. I'm going to run into the sheriff's department up here. They're just going to meet you there, okay? Are you on parole or anything in Colorado? Yes. Or did you not show up for, for your meeting or anything when you got out? No, I did. And then I think it was because I didn't wait for them to all the way approve my interstate compact. Okay. And then I came here before they fully approved it so that might what it be f that might be what it's for so. but it still shouldn't it should only be uh what is it called like either exconding or something like that because i didn't the charges that they have on there i just got done doing 15 years for that so i don't understand why it would say that that's the cause Then did it say extradition? Yeah, it says no extradition, no bond on it. It does say that on my side. So I am getting extradited? Uh, they have so many, there's 
whole process they have to go through. As of right now, they say they're coming for you, but it depends. You know, they got so much time to do it. You said that they said that they are. Yeah, as of right now. How did you guys get my name, my husband? I don't know how we came um my intel came up with it. I think they associated did like an association with your husband. They probably did like a news associated with it came up with it. I wasn't on like when you ran I wasn't on scene until about twenty minutes after you ran. They called me for our helicopter. Out down there, our helicopter didn't see you. <laughs> uh, I was in first. I was in the field, and then from the field, I went to like there was another field, and it like it had like some trees and stuff, and I just hid in the trees. I saw you guys overhead, but you know I watch movies, so I'm like, damn, I hope they don't have like that night vision and infrared shit. We did. <laughs> so, did you guys see me? No, we didn't see. Uh, they had they had the night vision. But they didn't pick up. They didn't pick up on you, so probably because I was freezing. Yeah, yeah. And that year probably around some of these big thick pine trees or something. Yeah. Yeah, those pine trees make it hard for us sometimes. So. And then like after a while, I waited till this morning. I'm like, yes, I'm good. And then that's when I was gonna. It's crazy because five more minutes and I would have been good because I was just going to that Wendy's or whatnot to the first rest area, first restaurant, and called my husband to come pick me up. Actually, we kind of laughed last night because we're like, we'll find him in the morning once the sun comes up because when we see people like riding their bicycles like this or walking on these side roads in the mornings, it's like that doesn't happen to people walking like that. There's a guy walking out here. Did day. someone call you too? What's that? Did someone call you? No, nobody called me. I was actually coming back from another call and seen you riding the bicycle, but people don't walk on these roads out here because they get hit all the time. So when you see people walking out here, it's really weird. Yeah. So people are People wouldn't thought about you if they just saw you walking out here this morning. So what what charge does comes with uh, running away? They can charge you with uh, obstruction, fleeing uh, if they wanted to. It just depends what the officers decide to do down here. Are they felonies? Uh, that's up to the officers down here. They can go either way, misdemeanor or felony. It just depends what the prosecutor's office wants to do. Okay. And with your charges in Colorado, our prosecutor's office can just be like, we're not going to charge with anything sent back to Colorado. I mean, it's just however it plays out, you know what I mean? All right. It just depends. I can't promise you nothing one way or another. I've seen it happen like every way you can imagine. So. Yeah. She said that they are going to give me the citation with my husband number on it. Yeah, they're going to, they won't give you the citation. They'll just they'll bring it so we have the phone number because I know the phone number's on the citation. Okay. So they're just bringing that. Well, right there for 37. Yeah, because I'm going to need that for <laughs> when I call my, I get a phone call, right? Yeah, they'll get it, let you call somebody once we get up here. Northbound 107. He's got his trunk open. It's a gray sedan. This is a little annoying. Yeah, I thought they were gonna catch me because it was a, it was I was we were at that stop right there, and there was the guy, there was one that was in the car, and then there was one that was standing by the car, and then as soon as he walked away, there was another car that was like to the side of us, and I'm like, I can't, I can't risk it. Like my husband waited 15 years for me, you know? Right. Norm and, normally, that you they would, that normally they would have caught you, but the officer that was out talking to you guys. He usually has a dog with him, but his car's broke down, so if he didn't have his dog in the car, he'd have, they'd have got you right away, but he didn't have his dog with him. Uh, so there is nothing you can do to get away from the dog? No, no, very little you can do to get away from the dogs. So. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy, because I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, damn, I should have been caught by now. Yeah, and then, 
And then when that, I was just like, maybe because I landed in water, my smell got off of me or something. And then when those helicopters came, I'm like, yeah, obviously the dog couldn't find me or didn't find me, so that's why they had the helicopter. But I'm like, damn, I'm a helicopter for a misdemeanor because I figured that you guys were going to find out who I was anyways. And I'm like, damn, for a warrant, a helicopter? I didn't rob nobody, didn't shoot nobody, didn't kill nobody. I don't want to know how. Like, you got a rattle as long as you're not doing nothing like that. Go ahead, we'll catch you another day. Yeah. Now, here it's, we play, it's, uh, we take it pretty serious around here, you know what I mean? Uh, you'll probably hear from the judge today at some point, just because the court opens up here about an hour. Okay. So, once they get your paperwork, get your processed in the report over to the courthouse so they can look at it. They'll probably, you'll probably see the judge this morning by TV. They do like from TV from jail to the okay. courthouse. So. And then I'm going to have to talk to the nurse pretty quick because I'm on Suboxone because I was on I was on Percocets real bad, opiate real bad, so they have me on uh, Suboxone, and I haven't had it since yesterday, and I'm already starting to throw up and feel sick. If not, then if they can't give me something, I'll be throwing up and shit all day. They've got a nurse on staff over here. About to turn 32, I went <laughs> exactly when I was 18. Got out when I was 30, 32. Well, at least I got a county that was in the middle of nowhere and I don't have to go to the city jail. Or do I? That's true. This, this jail over here, Pretty, pretty chill. It's real chill, actually. And that's the one I'll be staying at? Yeah, for right now, yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, normally, I really don't like officers, but I appreciate you being respectful. And, you know, you I, know. <laughs> I've always said I treat people the way they treat me, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't given me no reason not to... Not to be respectful, not that I wouldn't be anyway. I actually figured you go ride your bike up and pass all them cars on the right and take a run away from me. <laughs> Why, you wanted you wanted to chase me? No, I didn't want to chase. I'm too old for that stuff, man. <laughs> oh, you just want to call back up? Yeah. Well, you've seen how many people got there and how quick they got yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been a little bit rougher for you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I thought about it at first, and then I'm just like, man, it's... If you can get away once and you get caught again, it's just not meant to be. Like, it's not. It's not your day, man. Nah, it's not. And then it's not worth, like you said, it's not worth going through all of that. When at the end of the day, I'm probably going to get caught one way or another anyways. You know, so. I've always been under the impression, just get it taken care of because you can't run your whole entire life. You know what I mean? Can't. You know what's crazy, though? I've been out since September 16th. And I've been doing good. I got a job. I got a house, a car. Yep. We was actually the reason why we came down here was actually to drop off a suitcase from the uh, Columbus Airport of a lady that had left her that for an app called Roadie. Yep. And so we just dropped. We do drop packages off in like Home Depot, Tractor Supply. And I was working. That's the whole reason we even came down here. I haven't committed no crimes. Have been nothing. I've been actually doing good. I just. My fuck up was I should have went about it the right way. I should have waited till that interstate got done and approved and signed off to come back. But it was just like Colorado wasn't meant for me. It's so much going on. That's where I'm from. That's where I grew up. So it's just everything that's pulling me back. And we put in for it and they denied it. And so we put in again. And while we was waiting, we was just like, okay, well, we got a job. We got a house. We need to move now. 
and we came here and I've been doing good ever since, but at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. It's about what I did. Yeah. You know, I'll be honest with you. Like I said, take care of it now, because when you start doing good like that, that's when it catches up with you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'd rather see you succeed, get this all behind you, get it all taken care of, that way you can succeed, you know? And, and if they ask you, be straight with them. Like if Colorado asks you why you came up here, just say, because I'm just falling back. I was getting ready to fall back into my old ways being down here in Colorado. You yeah. know what I mean? Just be straight with them. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like, hopefully, you know, at the end of the day, I really don't, I hope I don't get no more time because I did my time. But like, usually the way that Colorado does, if you do something like that, they'll just usually send you back with your remainder and uh, your remainder and maybe the new charge, like they might, they might say escape or absconding or something like that. But I don't know, my my husband has a good attorney, so hopefully we can try to figure it out. Just, you know, I can't really, be, I can't give you legal, legal advice, but what I will tell you is this, when they talk to you today and they explain like what's going on in your options, listen to what they're telling you, okay? okay. Because they'll explain stuff to you and they'll give you a public, probably give you a public defender for that one get to that point but just make sure you listen to what they're saying to you that way you can make good sound choices okay all right so did i get far was i pretty far yeah you got you got a pretty good you got pretty good distance i'll be honest with you you got further than what I expect you to be. But it was funny though, because when I got up beside you on the highway, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's him. I, I didn't expect you to be up this far, to be honest with you. But it, it, it vaguely crossed my mind when I was catching up with you. I'm like, what would the odds of this being being William from last night? And sure enough, there you were. But yeah, you probably made it 10, 12 miles, maybe. Things felt like they were about to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> but you said my husband didn't get no charges? The uh, only thing, I think they even gave him a warning for the traffic violation, you know what I mean? I recognized him right away. I was asking him, I said, you from around here? I said, you live in Lima or Dayton? He goes, I live in Clayton, which is down by Dayton. He goes, I worked at the Murphy's there in Clayton. I'm like, that's why I know you because I used to get gas there when I was a trooper down there, so. Yeah, a couple months ago. Yeah, I, I recognized him right away. take me away and he was just like don't run and then I saw my opportunity and I was gone but my and then I, I didn't even think I saw what I saw the canine too on his badge I'm like oh man that's why I was expected to get caught almost right away but I was just like I can't I gotta try to at least get get back to you you know right it's just sometimes you do the wrong things to justify a good thing, but it really doesn't matter at the end of the day what the what the reasoning is. It's about what you did. Right. Just put a two nine eight. Yeah, 
How far is this away from Columbus? Um, hour and a half. Still? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think they put those there on purpose to see if we could reach them. <laughs> Grab that seatbelt real quick, all right? All right. Let me ask you this. There's nothing on you that's going to hurt anybody inside this jail or anything like that, correct? No drugs or nothing like that? Oh, well, I have my Suboxone, but that's Where's not. that at? Should be in this pocket. In that pocket, right? Which one, this little one? Uh, oh, or my power unit. Yeah, come on out here for me. Got it. We have a stereo. I'll grab your 